All right, fellas, what's going on? My name is Dananu, the man with black privilege. And um, this is just gonna be me, me talking about the whole new YouTube uh, policies that they got going on. And I'm um, just giving my thoughts on it and how I think it's gonna shake YouTube up and things like that. Um, nothing too serious <laughs> or anything like that. But um, YouTube recently, well, I'm not gonna say recently, but uh, let's say a few days ago, two or three days ago, I, I think it was earlier this week, um, I randomly got an email from YouTube and from the uh, the partner or the channel that I'm, well, not channel, but the, um, I forget the, the term, but the network that I'm partnered with. And um, they basically said that, oh, I'm not gonna be getting no more money no more from YouTube. It's basically what they said. It was like in 30 days, you, you ain't making no more money because you don't get no views. That, that's pretty much all I read. <laughs> but uh, basically what it is, is if you don't meet the newer YouTube requirements, um, not only will they, you know, dock, you know, uh, the, the ability to earn money from you, like what they're doing with me. Like I've been making money on YouTube since uh, probably, shoot, I've been on YouTube for me a minute, I'm like close to nine years. So um, probably for the past four or five years, I've been making money on YouTube only because when I first started for like the first three or four years, I really wasn't, you know, didn't care about the money like that. So I never pursued it, uh, but um, started making money, things were going good. And then, you know, my views started to taper off things like that. I really don't get views that much anymore. But to me, it's, it's not about the views. I've said it plenty of times in other commentaries that I've did where like YouTube is a private company. They can do anything they want to, you know, their product, their service, what they offer. They're not public. They're not like a publicly traded company. They're not subsidized by the government, like electricity and water. So they can do anything they want. That's pretty much what it is. YouTube is a convenience for a lot of people and uh, they're in the business of making money. So when you got people like Logan Paul or PewDiePie or anybody who fucks up the status quo and gives YouTube a black eye when it comes to companies and, you know, the higher marketing people and everything, um, they feel like they got to do something because they don't want that kind of thing. You know, they don't want to be in a public eye in that regard. You know, they want to be in a public eye of being the top media sharing outlet on the Internet, not you know, oh, PewDiePie said the N word on, you know, on Twitch or Logan Paul showing dead bodies on your service to kids. Like they, like they don't want to hand on that. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured something was going to be coming, but, um, I wasn't expecting them to basically, uh, dox people who are already situated, you know, with making money. Like, even if like, I didn't make the views, usually most companies, whenever they do a new system or something like that, they, um, uh, they will let you ride it out. <laughs> so even if like, like, let's say like, uh, if you have a cell phone plan, right? And your plan has unlimited data. And let's say like for five years, you had unlimited data. When you cut that off, <laughs> you know, let's say they cut that off and, you know, going forward, they're not going to do that. They usually try to grandfather people in. So like, if you had it before, you still have it. You know, most companies do it like that. But I guess YouTube just didn't see it that way. And people who are already established, let's say who are already partnered like myself, um, now we got to meet the requirements just like new people. Um, that's just going to be the way it is. Um, to me, I mean, I could care less. I'm going to still do what I do. Like even now, like I'm, I get shitty views on, on all my videos and I still upload two videos a day. <laughs> you know, I think I get paid like what, one or two dollars a month. You know, I think the highest I got paid for a month was like 50 bucks at one time uh, back during the dragon, uh, the dragon's dogma days. But um, outside of that, you know, it's one or two dollars a month. So for me, it's not about the money. I could I could give two fucks about money. So my upload schedule, like I got videos going up for like the next three or four weeks, <laughs> you know, uh, but I treat YouTube as a hobby, you know, um, I knew from the get go that YouTube wasn't going to last like it did. You know, people can't make a living off of it so much. I mean, you, you have to blow up and have millions and millions of subs. Those channels, they'll be fine. They meet the requirement 20 times over, if not a million times over probably. Like, you know, cause they get views on everything they do. They can put out a video of 
of somebody for five seconds picking his nose and they're still gonna get millions of views on it. People like myself, smaller channels, you know, who put in the hustle, who put in the grind and the work, um, you know, it, it just sucks for us and even people newer than that, like people who let's say wanna get started but they haven't got started yet. It sucks for them because it's now it's going to be harder to get in the door. You know, it's going to be harder to get noticed through those harder restrictions. Um, honestly, I think it sucks overall, um, but I think it can be maybe a good thing going forward because I think that this is going to separate those guys who basically I'm not saying, I know I said this before, but it's going to separate those guys who only make BS channels versus people who, who are willing to put in the work. Now, granted, I'm not saying, well, I'm saying that they're BS channels, but there's work involved in that. But there are people who go out there and literally make bullshit content to get views. That's what they do. Like whether that's uh, reaction videos or uh whatever you consider bullshit to be like there are some channels out there who will just uh rip other people's content and upload it as theirs that's bullshit to me because now you're not even doing anything you're riding on somebody else's work fame whatever and and all of that so i want youtube to crack down on all of that bullshit <laughs> you know just, just delete their channels altogether but we don't live in a perfect world and youtube still has a long way to go before it's perfect um, so that's why I say, I think it's going to weed, weed out a lot of channels that are maybe like that, or let's say people who want to start people who want to start YouTube, but don't want to, I'm not going to say they're not willing to put in the work, but smaller channels who just, it, it, it's going to change people's mentality. Like now people can be like, Oh, Oh, I could just make money on YouTube. So let me just do it. You know? So now, now they're going to do it. This is going to be that kind of that first speed bump that they hit where we like, well, now it's harder to become partnered. So they're not going to be as inclined to just make a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think it, 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 it's going to separate people. You know, people are going to are going to see that maybe doing YouTube isn't a viable option anymore. Maybe I should seek something else. And that's that's what I said. You know, every time I bring up this, you know, this, uh, this uh, topic about how YouTube could just change anything. They could pass a law tomorrow <laughs> and be like, oh, guess what? No more money from YouTube. Yeah, get your ducks in order. Just because you're, you're making money now don't mean it's going to always be there. I mean, you, you could have like another Facebook come out and just shit all over YouTube and just be the top dog. I mean, that's what happened to MySpace. Look what Facebook did to them. So it's when it comes in, like in the realm of the internet um i don't think youtube's gonna go anywhere no time soon honestly it's not dying off it's just gonna get more streamlined and it's gonna get more um fine-tuned they're gonna probably fine-tune youtube's policies and all of their stuff like you know like somebody would fine-tune like a race car you know they're gonna get it to a point where it's down to a science and they're going to have, you know, when when AI and algorithms and stuff get better, they're going to be doing all this shit automated. And then, you know, it, it, it's going to be a media, a media machine at that point, <laughs> you know, when it comes to uh, content and, and creators and stuff like that. But it's just it just sucks, <laughs> you know, for newer people, <laughs> because when you're starting out, you have that initial passion. And I know me, I'm I'm a little bit different. I have the passion for gaming. That's why I do gaming content or talk about comic books or the comic book movies, things like that. Cause that's what I like. That's, that's what I'm into. Most people, they have a passion about something and they may, you know, they may be like, you know what? I want to start a YouTube gaming channel. All right, that's fine. But if you don't get views or if you don't get what you think you should be getting, you end up quitting. I mean, I'm not that kind of person, but there's everybody else out there probably is, you know, me, I'll just keep uploading because until I get, you know, tired of doing YouTube or not liking this as a hobby, then yeah, then I would stop it. But that's going to be no time soon. I'm going to probably be making videos for like years, <laughs> you know, but I know everybody on YouTube isn't me. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to make YouTubes when I'm in like the lowest point of, you know, the lowest point of my life, I'm making YouTube videos. 
um but like i said that's not uh i know i'm not definitely the norm on youtube i will say that <laughs> when it comes to that kind of stuff uh, but i mean i think this could be a good thing honestly this is gonna shake up a lot of people it's gonna shake up youtube yeah they may be in like a negative light for a while when it comes to a lot of uh public opinion but they're still the biggest name in town so I mean, nobody's gonna switch and, and go nowhere so i mean it is what it is um people may not like it at first but i mean youtube may flip back i mean they could be like a you know a video game developer they may try out a change and then if, if it don't work they'll read what the community's saying and get feedback and then they'll be like okay well let's lower the restrictions let's make them a little a little bit less to show that they're listening to their community you know so they may do that in the future who knows you know but i mean the restrictions aren't too hard it's just that when you're starting out you don't have no audience you don't have no views and you don't have no kind of uh momentum or even have the ability to create all all of those three things because the youtube search algorithms and how youtube is set up is strictly designed to promote people who get views you know and get subs and all that kind of sort of stuff so when you're starting out you don't have none of that so your 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 content isn't even going to be promoted by the youtube search by uh, all of their algorithms that kind of work behind the scenes. You're, you're not going to be promoted. You have to get lucky. You know, do something that somebody else is doing. Put your spin on it. Make it a little bit better. Or do something completely different than what everybody else is doing. But by them having millions of people on YouTube, uh, there's probably 50 billion people doing the same thing you want to do. I mean, it's sad to say, but that's the reality of the situation. You know, um, I think as the years went on, uh, people are, they're doing all the genres that they can. <laughs> so unless you can truly think of something unique to do on YouTube and pray that it, that whatever you're doing becomes popular, that's the only way you're gonna just blow up and become noticed. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. Or um, if you're willing to sell out or do silly shit. I know I'm not one of those people because I have pride and I have integrity, but like I said, I'm not the norm on YouTube apparently <laughs> because there's plenty of other channels out there who say, fuck that, I'm trying to get views and they'll do whatever it is that they have to do. But I mean, I'm just not one of those people. But uh, one thing I will say that, that really, really sucks though is I think if you don't meet the requirements, they're gonna remove thumbnails. Like you you can't make thumbnails. Like so you're saying like, in like by February 20th, I can't make thumbnails for my videos no more. That's fucked up. <laughs> then people are really not gonna watch my content. Now, now I gotta figure out a way to put like a thumbnail or something at the beginning of my video and make it like 30 seconds and and, and hope YouTube picks it as one of those random uh, fucking thumbnail things. But I don't know YouTube. Like I said, I think it's messed up, but um, it, it's gonna be hard for people like myself and newer channels. Like even with my channel, like I put up two videos a day. I have over 10,000 videos online on youtube right now and um that's probably the only reason why i have the amount of watch time that i have like i have like i'm like just under the um just under the requirement like i think you need like what four thousand hours of watch time or fourteen thousand something like that and i have like three thousand more than like 100 <laughs> you know <laughs> and um and that's just overall the past year you know so it's just like one of those things where it's like i put out a lot of content even I, even though I get shit views, but I have a lot of videos to draw in that view count from. Whereas a lot of people, they don't have that because they don't upload like me. Like I, like, like, like I'll upload in my prime. I was uploading like I, I've uploaded entire games on one day before, just because I have a great internet connection to do it. I've uploaded like three videos a day for like years, you know. But I know I'm not most people. Most people, most channels, they only upload maybe one video a day. Or if um, if they're like a commentary or vlog type channel, maybe one video a week, two videos a week, you know, something like that. Some people even upload like one video a month or one video every like three or four weeks. It's just one of those things where those people, <laughs> they're gonna really get hit by it because if you're only putting out, let's say like one video a week and you're not getting no views, then you don't have the amount of shitty views to equal it out like I do, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I just think that's going to be messed up. That's why I say for newer channels, it, 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 it's just going to be shit getting started.
unless you are like super funny or um you know group together with people or willing to do some you know some of the shadier shit on youtube to get views or to get watch time then you really got to put in that time and effort and, and really have that passion in order to do it so but anyways guys that's just been my thoughts on the whole situation here so my name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on youtube and let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'll see you guys later peace